You're watching the news on Bahrain Television. A very good evening. The general command of the Bahrain Defense Force expressed its sincere condolences to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Minister of Interior, and to the family of the policeman Mohammed Tanvir, who fell in the line of duty as a result of a terrorist attack. The general command wished the policeman who sacrificed his life in performing his duty eternal peace and to the injured security men a speedy recovery. The general command declared that it is fully aware of such acts of terrorism and criminal schemes against the stability and security of the Kingdom of Bahrain led by the heads of sedition and evil who plot and incite with support from abroad and carried out by criminal hands conspiring against the nation and its citizens. They will be brought to justice and the laws will be applied fully. The BDF stands ready to respond to the terrorist groups who target security patrols and police officers carrying out their duties to maintain security and are equally ready to deal firmly and with determination with these sedition groups and their leaders. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa attended today in the presence of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa the wedding ceremony of the Royal Court Minister Sheikh Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa's son Sheikh Khalifa at Rafah Palace. His Majesty expressed his congratulations to the groom and wished him abundant health and happiness. Attendees expressed their congratulations to His Majesty the King and wished Bahrain and its people many happy returns.
His Royal Highness uh, Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today the speakers of the representatives and Shura councils Ahmed Al Mullah and Ali Al Saleh, along with members of both councils and state officials. His Royal Highness the Premier underscored the great national responsibility of members of the representatives council in serving citizens, reiterating the government's keenness to provide every support to boost cooperation between the legislative and executive branches and back MPs' legislative and monitoring role. His Royal Highness also lauded the democratic practice of the MPs and stressed the need for more awareness and unified opinions in order to achieve what is best for the country and its people. The Prime Minister stressed the importance of stronger Arab cooperation and parliamentary cooperation to face current challenges, especially economic ones, through holding more visits and meetings and enhancing the tourism sector. He also affirmed the need for more meetings and visits. His Royal Highness and congratulated the first Deputy Chairman of the Shura Council, Jamal Mohamed Fakhro, on winning the Arab Parliamentary Excellence Award from the Arab Parliamentary Union meetings in honor of the achievements of the legislative of authority in enhancing the democratic practice.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Glebia Palace today. The cabinet hailed His Majesty the King's directives to fight extremism and terrorism and highlighted the fruitful results of the 13th Organization of Islamic Cooperation, the OIC, which was held in Turkey. The cabinet then strongly condemned the terrorist attack targeting a Bahraini police patrol with Molotov cocktails in Karbabad, killing one policeman and wounding two others. They expressed condolences to the family of Mohammed Tanvir, who died while performing his duty and wished the wounded a quick return. Recovery. In line with His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's keenness to follow up providing Bahraini citizens with the best level of services, His Royal Highness directed a follow up in implementing the development projects in Halat Bumahar. He also instructed accelerated efforts in distribution of housing units of East Rafah housing project. A number of topics were discussed during the meeting. The cabinet approved a recommendation of the coordinating committee headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince regarding providing a new type of gasoline fuel known as super to consumers. The cabinet approved the amendment of the penalty law regarding underage participation in security incidents. The cabinet approved a draft law project regarding amending Article 105 of the Public Security Forces Law. It also approved a number of MOUs between the Kingdom of Bahrain and Egypt in the educational, health, cultural, diplomatic, sports, agriculture and tours and fields. The cabinet approved the kingdom's joining of the World Bank initiative regarding ending the routine gas flaring. The cabinet also discussed the cancellation of the Information Affairs Authority and to reorganize the Ministry of Information Affairs and referred it to the Minister of Information Affairs and the Civil Services Bureau for further studies. The cabinet discussed a draft law regarding amending some law provisions of Law 26 for the year 2005 regarding political associations. The council referred a draft law to the Representatives Council regarding social support. The cabinet discussed discussed a recommendation regarding the prevention of overfishing. Under the patronage of His Majesty the King's Representative for Charity Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Royal Charity Organization, the RCO, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, the RCO held its second forum as part of Arab Orphan Day functions. His Highness signed an agreement regarding establishing a new kindergarten in the southern province and launched the new website of the RCO. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his support to Bahraini orphans and lauded the remarkable efforts exerted by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa in providing orphans with all their needs and requirements. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and founder of the KHK MMA organization, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, hailed the outstanding organization of the Fight Night UFC on Fox 19, organized by the Ultimate Fighting Championship at the Amelia Arena in the U.S. state of Florida. His Highness lauded the huge efforts of UFC President Dana White in organizing such major MMA event and affirmed that the huge number of spectators reflects the successful hosting of the event at all levels, highlighting the UFC's leading position in the MMA field. He also 
also added that the Kingdom's participation in this international event would contribute in promoting Bahrain's developed MMA field. His Highness expressed his admiration for the outstanding performance of Khabib Noor Mohamedov in the main fight, which reflects his intensive preparation for the championship, in addition to the efforts of the technical and administrative staff. He added this achievement would encourage the fighter to exert more efforts in order to gain more achievements and become the top fighter in his weight class. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al Mullah, affirmed the Council's full support to the BDF statement, which stipulates combating terrorism and taking all necessary measures to deal firmly with these sedition groups and their leaders. He praised the role of the BDF in protecting the security and stability of the Kingdom, its gains and achievements, and the reform project led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Al Mullah also expressed appreciation to the Interior Ministry, affirming that combating terrorism is a national responsibility that ensures the safety of citizens, benefit the country, and the development of the democratic march of the kingdom. The Shura Council followed up with concern the statement issued by the BDF through which it affirmed its readiness for combating terrorism and taking all necessary measures against those targeting police officers and security patrol while performing their duty to maintain security. The Shura Council lauded the sense of responsibility enjoyed and demonstrated by the BDF under the command of the Commander of Chief of the BDF, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. The Shura Council asserted its full support for all measures taken to safeguard the Kingdom's achievements and protecting its security and stability. The Shura Council denounced the Acts that target the life of security men, considering such acts against the law, and only aim to bring damage to the country and its reputation. The Shura Council affirmed on the importance of the reform project of the Kingdom, including solving problems within the framework of the Kingdom's law and constitution. The Council called upon the civil societies and other national institutions to stand united against the spread of violence among the Bahraini Peaceful Society and to work towards consolidating the culture of state of law and tolerance in solving society problems. The Shura Council underscored the fact that through adhering to the rule of law, adopting reform process and safeguarding national gains, the country can be distant from harm and danger. The Jafari Endowments Directorate, the JED, issued a statement in which it has condemned the terrorist attack which targeted an on-duty police patrol and claimed the life of one policeman and injured two others in Karbabad village on Saturday. The JED stressed that such acts violate all religious teachings and all laws and conventions. In its statement, the Directorate expressed its condolences and sympathy to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Minister of Interior, and to the bereaved family of the victims, wishing those injured by the terrorist attack a speedy recovery.